Hey, this is Xcult Baby. This is not going to be my official video for this week, but I thought I would do something a little bit extra to talk about my amazing time that I had at Faithless Forum. If you don't know what that is, it is a conference of basically atheist YouTubers, not like myself, like people that are like really big in the community. So they had a lot, lot of really cool speakers, people that I have been watching for a while, people that I look up to, people that I have known and been aware of, and I just got back. like a few hours ago because it was in Dallas, Texas. So it, we, we, me and my fiance, we ended up doing kind of a road trip thing. So it took a long time to get there and a long time to get back. But it was so worth it. Oh my God, it was amazing. There was a real sense of community. It was really cool. You know, I mean, and, and I was, I should start from the beginning. So when we arrived at the site where Faithless Forum was going to be held, we got there like half an hour early because that's the kind of people that we are. And I can see up ahead, I can see Eric Murphy from Talk Heathen, and I can see Shannon and Q, and there were a couple of other people standing outside, and we're walking up, and I'm like, I don't know what to say to these people. I'm just gonna be like, hey, you guys are really cool. I'm thinking about what to say. And before I can say anything, Shannon and Q turns around and sees me, and she goes, X called baby! And I had like a moment of like, What? Like I, I stopped working. <laughs> so I was immediately thrown off because I did not, I didn't expect that. Like I knew that she was subscribed to my channel and that maybe she'd seen a couple of videos or something, but I didn't, I certainly didn't think that I was going to be recognized. So that was really cool right off the bat. I was like, okay, so I guess that I'm not completely under a rock, but yeah, that was a really interesting start to the whole experience. But basically the whole conference was really cool. All the speakers were wonderful. You know, I got a lot to meet a lot of cool people and I was encouraged very strongly to network. There was a whole talk about branding your channel and kind of being able to choose your style and put yourself out there. So it was about the making of YouTube videos and I asked a couple questions and I got a little bit of encouragement from that. But honestly, mostly a lot of what I felt like was encouragement to do better for my channel came from Drew of Genetically Modified Skeptic. He was also the president of Faithless Forum. Um, at some point I was participating in an audience participation kind of thing and we were all introducing ourselves and I was introducing myself and he stands up and he's like, don't you have a YouTube channel? And I'm like, uh, yes. And he's like, say what it is. So I, you know, I put the name of my channel out there and I got to talk to a lot of really cool people, you know, other atheists that I met at the conference. You know, we exchanged YouTube channels too. So I met some other smaller content creators and I have plans to make videos with some of them soon. You go, you guys know who you are because I've already contacted you about doing some videos together and that will be fun. Look forward to that in the future. But I also did some big, bigger networking too. I talked to Telltale and I'm probably going to appear on his podcast sometime in the future. I don't know exactly when, but I know that it's in the works. We basically worked it out that, you know, that's gonna happen at some point. So I'm really excited about that. And while I was at Faithless Forum, I met this really adorable girl with pink hair. We were just chit-chatting. She said she liked my jacket. We were talking, blah, blah, blah. And then later she comes up to me again and she's like, this is my boyfriend, uh, Dan. And we're talking objectively Dan of the ACA show Truth Wanted. And he gives me his card and his like, yeah, I heard you have a YouTube channel. My girlfriend told me. So, you know, email us sometime and maybe I can have you on the show. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, you know, I'm just, I don't know. It, it was incredibly encouraging. I will say that. For somebody who was expecting no recognition, not to say that I think that my content is bad or not worthy of recognition. I think it is. I think it's good. That's why I put it out there. I have made videos that I haven't released because I didn't think they were good enough. But even so, you know, these are people people that I have, that these are people with over like a hundred thousand subscribers, some of them, and I don't expect to be noticed. I don't expect them to know who I am. I don't expect them to recognize me. I mean, I don't, I also, I, they did sound like I'm saying these people have watched all my videos and they're big fans or anything, but a couple of them were subscribers. 
And they recognized me, and they said, yeah, I've seen you before, I've heard of your channel, I think that your videos are good. The ones that I've seen, you know, and that means a lot to me. Because right now I have, like, this little, like, $40 microphone or, or whatever, and I have my little Walmart webcam, and I'm, I have no graphic experience, I have no videotography experience, but I'm a person who I think, and this is really the reason that I got into YouTube, I think that I have something to contribute to the dialogue. I think that I add I think that I can add something that hasn't already been said. I think I have something to say. I think that there's stuff that I can do. That's the whole point of making these videos. And really, I got the impression that the people who are kind of at the forefront of this community were saying, yeah, we believe in you. We think that your content is good too, and we want to help you. We want to help you reach a wider audience. And that's really the point of, you know, getting big. I, like, I don't have no desire for fame, and I certainly don't think that being a YouTuber will get me recognized on the street or anything. I'm not looking to have, like, fans, but I think that if there's something that I can put out into the world that will make people think or make people change their minds, that reaching a wider audience is the way to reach more people and to help facilitate change. Change that I want to see. Change that I can help facilitate. So, yeah. So, there's a couple of things in the works right now. I want to obviously help promote my fellow small content creators by collaborating on some stuff together. And I may be collaborating with some of the, you know, the leaders in the atheist community. So that'll be really cool too. But yeah, Faithless Forum was really awesome. Texas was awesome. And to be completely honest, after the whole experience, Nathan and I are seriously considering moving to Austin, Texas. And I know that that sounds like a crazy, like, huge decision. It's not like we're going to do it anytime soon if we if we do it, but we have, I kind of wanted to get out of Ohio anyway, and I wanted to be a more active member of the community, and after really being involved in that community, it's like, I want to keep being involved in this community, not just for, like, the association of, you know, being in a community again, which is a big deal to me after, you know, getting out of a cult, because that's one of the main draws, is that very strong sense of community. And now I'm in a community where I'm not going to be shunned, and that's even better. You know? But, um, yeah, there just was so much that we felt like I want to, you know, like, I want to be way more involved in this. I don't want to just, like, leave and vacation and look at it. I want to stay in this. I want to keep doing this. And we kind of discussed all these things, like going back to school and the kind of work we could get into that would afford us being able to move and it's a real possibility not anytime soon but it's a it's a real possibility and i think that'd be really awesome and um after faithless forum so yeah the faithless forum took place in dallas and then afterwards since we were coming from so far away and it was the next day we went to see a live taping of the atheist experience it happened to be that the one that we saw was you know, the it was hosted by Matt Dillahunty, Rationality Rules, Stephen Woodford, and Cosmic Skeptic, aka Alex O'Connor. And apparently it was like one of the most live viewed episodes of the Atheist Experience ever, which was really cool to be there. Like the room was packed. It was and it was so much fun. Like it was really awesome. It was a great episode of the Atheist Experience. And before the episode aired, me and Nathan were just sitting down talking to Matt Dillahunty about what he thought of Endgame. Like, because we had seen it like a day before it actually was released, and then he saw it, he and a bunch of the other um, major content creators saw it together the day that it was released. So, you know, by Sunday, we've all seen it, basically. And we were just sitting down talking about it for like half an hour. It was awesome. Obviously, we were super starstruck when we first got to Faithless Forum. But by the end of the day, it was just like, these are real people. These really are real people. And they're really cool people. I'm more excited than ever to be a part of the atheist community, the atheist YouTube community specifically, the secular humanists, the skeptics, all of those labels, all of those categories, just some of the coolest people. And I'm, I'm really, I really am really thrilled to be part of this community. It's definitely better than the one that I left, I'll tell you that. I mean, yeah, man. I, I met some other extra Jehovah's Witnesses at Faithless Forum as well. They were so cool, you know, being able to talk about our stories and um, our shared experiences and just, you know, also kind of fangirling together and being like, oh my gosh, this is so cool, look at these people. And yeah, it was just a really good time and it was extremely encouraging and I think that things are going to change on this channel a little bit afterwards. I think that I can really see a future in this YouTube channel. Not to say that I wasn't going to keep it up anyway, don't get me wrong, I wasn't giving up on it or anything. I didn't feel particularly discouraged by the, I don't know, 
know, lack of growth, but things are going to get a little bit bigger, I think. And I am more motivated than ever to really put as much as I can into this channel. And, you know, I'm coming up with more ideas now, and I'm, I'm just really excited about the future. So that's pretty much all I have to say about Faithless Forum. My, you know, real video will be posted on Thursday, as usual. But yeah, this is just a little bonus thing. So, bye!